Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Alpine Stars SMX Plus V2 Gore-Tex boots. Alpine Stars SMX Plus boots have been around for at least 20 years and they give a great balance of performance for both road and track. These are the Gore-Tex version of the latest SMX Plus boots, so they offer even more versatility as the Gore-Tex waterproof and breathable membrane keeps your feet dry. The outer shell of the SMX Plus V2 Gore-Tex boots is microfiber, that's a leather substitute, and it has huge accordion stretch panels to keep flexibility high. The most visible is this section along the front of the foot. There's another section from the heel to the calf, and then a third area just to this side of the boot entry here. There's plastic protection at the toes, the shins, and also the heels, where there's a replaceable insert that screws to the main body just here. One of the strongest appeals of the SMX Plus Gore-Tex boots is the ankle bracing. It's Alpine Star's multi-link control system, and it's a pivoting plastic structure that keeps your ankle as supported as it can be without affecting the ability to flex your ankle for using the bike's controls and for walking around. The final tough additions are very common features on sports boots. That's a gear change protector on the front of the foot to prevent damage from the gear lever. And then there's a pair of toe sliders. Those sliders, which are replaceable, mount with Alpine Star's latest attachment method, which is a small screw at the back, just here, where it's best sheltered from being damaged by wear against the track or the road. If you need replacements for these sliders, there's a link in the description for this video. The sole on the SMX Plus Gore-Tex boots is supportive and it's very stiff, which gives good feel. I wore these boots on a Suzuki GSX-R 1000R and I found the feedback through the pegs was really very good. Three sections on these boots are designed to allow some airflow to come through. There are perforations just here behind the main zip and then there are mesh covered sections on the shins and also on the heels. These will help slightly with cooling air, but it has to pass through the Gore-Tex waterproof membrane. So if cool feet are your big priority, then it's worth considering the non-waterproof version of these boots. The details for our video about those boots are in the description for this one, and a link will be appearing on screen now. The fastener on these boots works in three stages. To get the outside open, you just release this ratchet here and pull this slider away. This reveals the zip tab, which secures to this Velcro panel at the top of the boot. Undoing that zip reveals the next stage of the opening. It's this speed lace here, which pulls this inner section of the boot tight around your ankle. And then this slider here holds that in position. And the loose end then secures on this Velcro tab at the top here. This gives a really secure feeling and makes the boots feel locked to your feet in a way that just a zip alone can't do. And that lace also pulls in the Gore-Tex membrane, which is what gives these boots that extra dose of practicality over the regular SMX Plus V2s. Now that does come at a price premium of 40 pounds. These boots are 369 pounds 99 as we record this, and the non-waterproof boots are currently 329 pounds 99. Gore-Tex is the most highly regarded of the waterproof membranes, and in my experience, Gore-Tex is better than the rest when it comes to breathability. Having a waterproof membrane like this will always make a bike boot run a bit hotter, but the Gore-Tex is better able to stop that heat turning into sweat than other membranes, which has the added benefit of reducing the smell from the boots too. The rain protection is covered in the CE rating for these boots, which isn't always the case for boots that claim to be waterproof. It's an optional part of the CE test, so manufacturers can choose whether to prove their claim by having the boots tested. The WR mark on the CE label shows that Alpine Stars have done that. And the WAD, which is also on here, shows they don't absorb too much water and become saturated. In the compulsory aspects of this test, the SMX Plus V2 Gore-Tex meet level two for being full height boots, and they're also level two for resisting abrasion and cuts. They meet the basic level one for the sole's resistance to lateral crushing forces. The customer reviews for these boots show they're both popular and also true to size, as the vast majority of people have ended up buying their normal size rather than having to go up or down one. I was really impressed with these boots in my time wearing them. If you want a sporty boot that will do a bit of everything, then this is a serious option. They're great on the road, they're good on the track, and they'll also see you through cold and wet weather thanks to the waterproofing that's inside. 
So I hope that's all there is to know about the Alpine Stars SMX Plus V2 Gore-Tex boots. And if you'd like to keep up to date with more videos like this, then please subscribe to our channel. But if you have anything you'd like to ask or to add about these boots, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.